Hello, Frontline Gaming fans. Here's a Scardcast Battle Report for you. Uh, today it is the last day of our Escalation Campaign League for the Battle of Vogan, and we have a battle for the Palace of Peace, which is a 10-point swing. And I'm bringing the NPC Imperial Guard with Black Templar allies against Rob and his Imperial Guard with Grey Knight allies. So, my 1500 points is as follows. The Warlord of this endeavor is a senior officer with his little unit with a couple of melter guns. Uh, then I have one platoon command squad with a couple of flamers and two ten-man infantry platoons with last cannon grenade launcher in each. Then a ten-man veteran squad with three melter guns in it. Then for fast attack I have three scout sentinels with multi-lasers. For heavy support I am rocking a Lehman Russ exterminator with the twin link daughter cannons and heavy bolter sponsons. And they have allied with the Black Templars. So today I have a Black Templar Reclusiarch Terminator Chaplain with a Thunder Hammer. With a tank hunting Terminator Sword Brethren Command Squad with double Cyclone Missile Launcher and a um, Chain Fist. I love those models. That's why I wanted to bring them out today, to showcase them. Um, and then, because that's an HQ, then for Elites I'm taking five... Uh, Terminator Assault guys with uh, three Thunder Hammers and two pairs of Lightning Claws. The one troop for the Allied Detachment is five uh, Black Templars with a multi melter. And for fast attack, I've taken a Land Speeder Typhoon. Okay, so that's 1500 points. And then we'll be going over Rob's 1500 points as well. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the battle report. Hello, Rob. Say hi to the camera. Um, what do you have? I have one squad of vets here with three grenade launchers and a rocket team. Yep. I have my Aegis defense line. Yeah. A 20 man guard squad. Yeah. Just regular guardsmen. Mm hmm. I have my comp I have my uh, Lord Commissar. Yep. A uh, Vanquisher battle cannon with a last cannon. Yep. One Bane Wolf with just a heavy f flamer in the front. Yep. That's the uh, strength XAP two. Yes. Yeah. Then here I have, as for part of my allies, I have my Dread Knight. Yep. It's just got a heavy incinerator on it and a teleport homer. Okay. Uh, the teleport homer or the teleport... No, the, the teleporter on it. Okay, yeah. yeah. I have my one Vendetta with a squad of Grenadier Vets in it. Yep. I have a Vindicare Assassin. Yep. And then a very basic uh, Storm Raven, which has a salt cannon and multi melter on it. Yep. Five... Uh, five... Pa uh, just regular Terminators right, yeah. and a Librarian. The Librarian. And uh, what is he using today? Uh, he, he's just using, he's got two spells, Warp Rift and Smite, as well as his regular Hammer Hand and Darkest Communication. And he's Psych Master Level 2 and he's got a Halberd. Okay, so he's using Grey Knight Pass. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, uh, any grenades, crazy grenades on him? Psychotron. Okay, the, the nice Psycho ones. Trip. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's 1500 points. And we are playing on the Palace of Peace. We set it up thematically as the Palace of Peace. So we don't know where the deployments are going, but we'll roll for deployment, set up, and we'll be back. Deployment. The Black Templars uh, took the turn the first turn. So we have an infantry squad, a platoon commander, assault terminators, a terminator command squad with chaplain, land speeder. The warlords hiding back there bravely. Uh, Black Templars, other platoon squad, um, executioner, infiltrating. Sorry, um, these guys up here. Oh, they have scout on I'll have to redo that movement, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's not night fight turn one. In the deployment, we have a Vindicar assassin up here. Then we have a uh, platoon squad with the quad gun. Vanquisher, big guy. Uh, set forward sentries. Big platoon and Bane Wolf. And in reserve, we have the Storm Raven and the Vendetta, which are over there. All right. So is Rob going to try steal the initiative? I believe he shall. And he does! So it's Imperial Guard, turn one. Okay, so this is a turn one recap. Go over quick. Uh, in Imperial Guard turn, Quad Gun blew up a Sentinel and put a hull point on one. But in my turn, they moved back, killed two of that unit. Did they pass the morale test? Uh, I'll have to take them out. Okay, and they're going to take a morale test. And they, they are going to run. They're going to flee seven, but they'll be able to rally and come back. Uh, the Vanquisher blew up my Executioner. Uh, in my turn, the Black Templars moved down. 
The Black Templar Terminator's moved and ran. The Land Speeder shot two crack rockets at this guy and he rolled a one, so he's dead. Um, my chaplain survived a um, turbo penetration round. And then uh, these tank hunting cyclones fired and took a hull point off and shook that so it can't move his chute. And then these guys just kind of stayed put and he moved up. So now we'll be rolling for reserves. First we have the Storm Raven. Storm Raven? Arrives, and then the Vendetta arrives. So both flies have arrived, and we're moving on to turn two. Turn two recap. We had Vendetta and this thing fire at Salt Emirs, wipe them out after charging in to kill the last one. Uh, Storm Raven just flying up here. These guys are moving up. I took a health point off that uh, Bane Hammer again. They got two wounds on their uh, Dread Knight was shooting, then charged, and he challenged me so I sent in my sergeant and now I just sit there so they can't get shots. Other than that they fail to kill any more of that squad over there. So now it's uh, Grey Knight turn three. Uh, well general turn three. We shall return. Turn three. Um, I got really lucky and hit this with three snap snapshots forcing it to have to move 18 but they might grab shoot. Insertion. That's the last cannon, the couple of melter guns, and the multi melter that is moving up. I moved my vets on that came in from reserve and flame it, killed two terminators over here. He passes lookout, sir, from the melter gun shots. Uh, this is fine. My terminators finished the dread knights, moved up, and then forced this unit to fall back. And now they only consolidated two inches, so they're going to be taking a whooping. And all in all, it's on to turn four. Okay, so at the end of turn five, we had, uh, we actually had the Grey Knights uh, try and take out with the Storm Raven and all the Terminators and Librarian, take out my Warlord and his squad, but he was able to pass every save and every lookout sir roll, killing everybody else except him. And then in his turn, he moved up, shot his plasma pistol up there. The veterans, first ranked, second ranked into them, killing the Terminators that were there, leaving the Librarian full wounded, and of course the flame has helped, but the Librarian is still there. Uh, Got twin linked against the hovering Storm Raven with the grenade launcher and the last cannon. It did two hull points and immobilized it. And then these Black Templars moved up, shot at the Bane Wolf that was then charged. Well, I multi charged into here with my chaplain and the Chain Fist uh, Terminator, which then blew up the Bane Wolf and killed a few guys and they're stuck in combat. And now it's turn five. We have the Ve the Vendetta that had flown off because it was stunned. Well, he's got one hull point left, but he's coming in again on turn five as oncoming reserves. And we'll be back as this game is coming to a close, and it's been an absolute blast. It's been a bloodbath as well. Oh, and we had uh, that Lehman Russ slowly kind of start moving its way over here with the new heavy roll. Okay, see you. Okay, so intense turn five. My army kind of moved up. Uh, he killed my, <laughs> my commander with a warp rift flamer shot. Um, I melted the librarian to death. Uh, I've got the platoon commander right there. I've got a veteran unit. This is another unit here. I tried to snapshot this vendetta, but it still has one hull point and it's fine. In this combat, I got the uh, Black Templar Crusaders moved up, charged the big combat, helped finish them off so when they ran back, they could get caught. They each consolidated three inches. So we're going. That's the end of turn five. And now we're actually going to roll to see if it continues. So does it continue? It does go. It does continue. And is it night fight from now on? It is. It is now night fight, and the game continues. We'll be back at the end of turn six. Turn six. Uh, they kind of moved up, failed to bring down the Valkyrie, but brought down the Storm Raven. This combat over here, my Terminator Chaplain and uh, Terminator charged in, but both got mauled by power fists on the Sergeant and the Lord Commissar. And then they didn't actually charge. They tried to run up to contest, but they failed. And then they actually consolidated enough to get back up on the floor. So now we're going to roll to see if it goes on to turn seven. Does it? No. It does not. And now we're going to count up points. So you've got first blood. First blood. Warlord. Warlord. Um, where's Linebreaker actually? I don't think I get Linebreaker. I don't you think I'm far enough in. No. Oh, I need to have somebody completely within 12. No, it's only no. half. Okay, so I do not have line breaker, but I do have one objective. 
So that is that objective is not contested. So it's two plus three, that's five points to three. Therefore, it's victory to the Imperial Guard and the Grey Knights. Good game, bro. Good game. Thanks a lot. Do you have any final thoughts? Uh, uh, lots of bloodshed. Lots of bloodshed. I was able to actually bring back some stuff around after that. First couple of turns looked really dicey with the Terminators coming up here. But it was really, it was a fun game. And uh, I'm glad that it came down to the wire. Okay, so the Palace of Peace has been taken by the Imperial Guard. And on my note, you can actually see how some crazy lists do well. Of course, flyers are very strong. Um, having good line of sight blocking stuff is always good in the game. We set this up thematically. This has been a long campaign. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, you can check out the podcast or blog at scar.podbean.com. And uh, enjoy. See you next time.